And it's gotta be to the FBI, CIA, and NSA. So we can, we can do this at home, home down, you know, outside networks so we can get in there. If you've seen this movie we're going to talk about, you understand where I'm going with this. Here we go. Take my password, one, two, three, eight, six, and we're in. It's light on. That was close. That was close. Don't click on those websites. No, don't. Anytime no. they uh, send you those uh, emails saying they're going to deposit that money from Africa. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, don't click on that. No. That's, that's not good. No, no, leave them alone. Well, I tried to hack into that. It didn't work too, work too well, so let's get up into the show before we hear a knock on that door. Right. <laughs> Just got a few minutes to go ahead and get this in before we got to make our run here. We had to talk about this movie. We couldn't. We could not talk about this movie because it is so bad. Yeah, anybody can hack into any place with anything. <laughs> who are you? Who am I? Who yes, are you? Who are you? This is the internet. I don't. They don't need to know who I they am. They need to know who you are since you're the one that started the show. Ghost Face Massacre. <laughs> one, one, two, two. No, you don't know my real name. This is Chuck Taylor. Shh, man. <laughs> They're looking for me. Chuck you know, is not your real you know what anyway. I just did? Chuck is not your real You know what anyway. I just did over there? <laughs> Gosh, all my money out, out the bank account. Okay, you know, what was fine. It, about $2. I, I'm Rashad, of course. And uh, this is Color Commentary. We're we'll going to be giving you views from a different side. Of course, Chuck today over here. we're going to be talking about the... It's not a horrible movie, but it's just not Don't a very say it's good horrible. movie. It's just... Not great. Yes, yeah, the very not great movie, the girl in the in the in the in the in the, in the, in the, in the dragon web. tattoo. The girl, the girl in, the in the dragon tattoo. The girl stuck in the spider web. Right. Was the my girl kids in, kept thinking it was a Spider Man movie. I'm right. Like, no, I'm not seeing Spider Man movie. <laughs> How not, you see Spider Man? This is not Spider Verse, guys. <laughs> the girl in the in the spider web, or also the girl that don't make no sense. That's what I call it. Of course, I'm uh, Rashad, and I'm the owner and founder of Block Band Music and Publishing, a company where we provide music and instruments to march bands all across the nation. This, of course, is Chuck Taylor here. Now, I'm out of character, you know. But if I was, I couldn't give my name, you know, because they're looking for me. You right, probably exactly. Already hacked in all our systems anyway. Right. But yeah, I'm part of, owner of Cafe's Party Easy. We do parties of all kinds. We're going to get into a few topics on today's show. First, we're going to talk about. The girl in the spider web. What do you What do you think? Uh, how should we go? You want to go first on that? We'll tell them the other topics. No, nah, they'll they'll see when we get to tell them the other topics. I had time to do what I'm doing over here. Okay, that's okay. what I'm planning. All right. This is live, so we don't really we don't really mind. Right. But yeah, we're gonna jump into um, a tell few where, Tell them where uh, our, our cohort is. Why would you just tell them? Why would you tell them? I'm you doing this. He looking at us right I'm now. I'm doing this. What up, what up, Danny? But yeah, Danny had a busy weekend. He was killing it over at Com Comic Con in downtown Durham. Uh, they're selling all their books out and everything, so definitely hit them up to get those Lumberjack books and those Ace Blade comics and everything. But um, <clears throat> so he, we told him to go ahead and take take the day off. You know, he's been busy all weekend, and we're just talking about the girl on Spider Web. It's really not that big a deal. But um, <laughs> <laughs> other topics we're gonna talk about: Bad Boys Three. It is green lit, and it's coming out. I don't know when, but they Martin and Will said it's coming out, so we're going to get into that topic. And then we got we got quite the blockbuster of movies coming at the end of the year. So we're just going to kind of discuss what we think about the movies that are upcoming, what we excited about, what we may not be excited about, but could it su uh, su surprise us? Right. So you know, just check us out, and make sure you hey leave us a couple comments. Let us know what you, some things you want to talk about. If you got some movies that we should review, definitely put them down in the comment comments below, mm -hmm. and we'll check that out. Just make sure you ask us for good movies. We're tired yeah. of these. We're yeah, tired we, of these. We've we had bad movies. movies enough for the year. I'm yeah. telling you, bro. 
<laughs> we need good movies because I don't need to be falling asleep in theaters. No. Especially I don't pay $12 to get in there. <laughs> they could if I had a free ticket, you know, my American Express card. Yes, I did sir. not have free ticket. <laughs> it's a waste of money. All right, so seven minutes apiece on uh, the girl in the spider web, or like I said, the girl that don't make no sense. I have not fallen asleep in a movie since the 90s, bro, and I fell asleep. On this movie, I missed about a third of it, so I was hoping my brother Charlie here, Chuck, could uh, fill me in on maybe I missed some of the you good parts. <laughs> but uh, apparently that was Dang. that was <laughs> not the case, man. There's so many things that just didn't make sense. I'm gonna talk about like the one thing I thought was cool. <laughs> um, this is spoiler review because I can't tell you how much I hate a movie without spoiling it. So my boobs, do some more push-ups, right? <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> um, what I was saying, oh, yeah, the one part that I liked, okay, so where they dragged old girl, you know what I mean? I mean, they dr they drug her, mm -hmm. like put, they put stuff in her neck, uh -huh. and then they made her shoot the guy in the head. Yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. It's like, okay, like you framed her. And it's like she was awake for it, so she saw it happen, yeah. but she couldn't control her body. That whole visual, seeing that happen and the guy... Being on the other side of the gun, watching it happen, and the, and the kid, that whole scene I thought was really good. And I think that's pretty much the only thing <laughs> that I liked well, about this entire the whole movie. movie. Uh -huh. You must have seen the whole movie, didn't you? I saw, I mean, I saw good parts of it, but I was nothing else. Okay, here's the things I was disappointed in. There's so many things that don't make no sense. Like, for example, start number one. The NSA got hacked, right? Okay, black dude, is he sitting in his computer like Chuck was earlier? And all of a sudden, you know, <laughs> it shows the information, information being stolen. Being, being uh, downloaded. Right. He's 65%. Your information is being stolen. Here it is. <laughs> and so he runs over to the wall and hits the kill button that knocks out, you know, everybody's stuff, right? And he goes back and, you know, everything is gone. But nobody says anything. No, his co-workers don't say anything. Bruh, do you know who would be in a fight if I if I walked past somebody's desk and I knocked the power out? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And he, he, he killed everybody's oh, internet. Yeah. Exactly. His boss didn't say nobody said nothing. That didn't make no sense. Black dude as you gotta say black dude. <laughs> don't forget this is a black dude in the NSA. Right, exactly. He's walking around turn off power. And, and as soon as he would have ran over to hey Tom we where you headed? You're in a rush. What's Akeem? going on, Tommy? Where you, where you going? Why well, did you turn off all the power? <laughs> right, Tommy. exactly. What's going on? He would have got to the power. Yeah, hold on real quick. You're in a rush. Just when you said that, remember he got up out the meeting and they were questioning where he was going. Did right, it? just before that. To that part. He, was, he fell asleep at that I part. Too. Gosh, that sucks, part. man. You don't know nothing. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> they asked him where he was going during the meeting. Yeah, like he got up from the meeting. Like, oh, man, I got oh, yeah, yeah. He, I got, up from the okay. he got up from the meeting and walked out. He's like, just because you're head of security or such, such. Just because you're a special force. Yeah. Mean you're special. He's like, you're not special. He's like, ha, 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 ha. And he walks out. Right. <laughs> and then he just, I am. Right. Yeah, <laughs> turns off the power and is crying. <laughs> and put on those, get his keys, grab his coat, and running out the building. Like, yeah. No alarm there. All right. Nobody so, cares. So the next thing is um, the girl driving on a, in a motorcycle on an icy pier with no sides on it at all, just spinning and doing everything. I don't think they understand how ice works. Like, I, I get Mission the Impossible when you're trying to, like, impress us, but I want my stuff to be <laughs> realistic. Like, if she was driving a motorcycle with just two wheels spinning around, she would have been in that lake a long time ago, bro. That just, that, that took me out of it. That's I right there. And then when she jumped on the lake and the cops are like, oh, I guess she's gone. Like, bro, you got guns. Like, and I said, oh, I guess, I guess she's escaped now. So, you want to get some coffee or something? <laughs> um, okay. The Oh, here's another scene that didn't make no sense, right? Okay, so the big breakout at the airport, right? Like mm -hmm. when she got the, when she rescued the black dude, right? Okay, so the way she hacked the computer is uh, she had like all these, uh, they weren't criminals, I guess, but they were in custody. They were all like in a, in a cell. Yeah. And then the door opens and like <laughs> the Air Force, I mean, the airport security walks into the room. Yeah. First of all, why would you do that, bro? That was dumb even if the door didn't close. Why would you walk into a room full of people that you're trying to keep in custody? With somebody, like, he's right here. And, like, there's a guy, like, right here. Like, he easily could have jumped him. And then the door closed. That made no sense. Yeah. But the worst part of this whole movie, because I don't want to take too long here. The worst part of the whole movie is the fact that 
what's the name, Lisbeth, had absolutely nothing to do with any type of accomplishment in the last scene, in the third, in the major battle whatsoever in the climax, okay? Look at this. And we saw this in the trailers, right? She was all tied up in the latex, right? Mm -hmm. And they made a condom out of her, you know? <laughs> so basically, um, you know, she's trying to get out, but she can't get out. And so her, her guy, the guy in the chair, and the black dude are like sniping everybody in the house, which is awesome. I wish I hadn't seen that in the trailer. Cause I, was like, I actually been, didn't see that because I didn't watch that, I guess that part of the trailer. That was like the only thing I saw. Like, we've been watching trailers where I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. And so I saw that, so I was like, okay. And he killed everybody except one person. No, he, he killed everybody except three people. The little kid grabbed the uh, the drug and stabbed into one guy's leg, right? Mm -hmm. So, And then that guy fell out in the building, broke his leg, and then got ran over by a car. So, in a way, the kid killed that guy, right? Then they get into a, a, a car accident because they hit that guy, mm -hmm. right? So you assume that, that the, the guy that's driving, he's dead. And so you're like, the sister, okay, so it's going to be a grand fight between Lisbeth and her sister. First of all, I'm like, oh, man, she could just take her out from like a mile away because she's wearing a red dress in the snow. But anyway, they, they face up to each other. And the sister's like, it's be a grand fight between Lisbeth and I'm her sorry. sister. Yes. First of all. I've been hacked. They're hacking. <laughs> right. It's this thing. Right we'll now. get out of here. Get out of here. I'm hacking my stuff. Liz, uh, one of them, the girl on the spider web just hacked me. <laughs> so anyway, uh, oh, we both had on gray shirts. Okay. I didn't, I didn't pay attention to that. It's good. We're matching. That's our costume for the days that we're matching. Anyway, so she confronts her sister, and her sister's like, you know, all this time, 16 years, you've been rescuing people, women, all over the world. Why didn't you rescue me? I'm like, oh, why didn't you rescue her? That's a good question. Why you didn't? I couldn't do it. Oh, I don't know if she's going to take that answer. It's about to be on right now. And, they, you know, the fight, you know, ready to fight. And then old girl just jumped off the side of the mountain. Yep. She just, she felt, she killed that herself. fall reminded me of uh, Thor, um, Dark, no, what's the third? The Loki? Ragnarok. Oh. When, the, she, she, was, when uh, she jumped in the, the pit with the fire. And, uh, you know, she's like, you want to see real power? She jumps into the darkness to wake up all the dead people. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. That's that. That fall looked like that to me. I was like, oh, check a hell over here. Mm -hmm. And that hell will look. But, uh, <laughs> That's the time to let me know the seven minutes is yeah, up. Yeah, seven minutes is up. <laughs> yeah, I but that, you, so you sleep I was movie. very disappointed in this movie. So maybe Chuck yes, can bring it home and give you, you some guys. good things <laughs> that happened in this movie. He didn't really tell you anything about the movie. But I, will I told you seven minutes worth of stuff. I will help you. All right, so the girl in the spider web, it's it's not a horrible movie, but it's not a great movie. It has some, I guess, good plot points. It, I guess to me, what I kind of got out of it that they they really want to talk about women that have been abused. You get that a lot in the in the movie. So some of the guys you go see it, yeah, it's has some tense, uh, some little weird situations is going on. I was like, hmm. I right, know this is not really what I thought it was going to be, you know. I mean, women are getting smacked around, and things are happening to women that are pretty horrible. So, you know, they need a. She's kind of like the Robin Hood for women. She goes, <laughs> you no, know, take, take, uh, take out the people that have been hurting, hurting women across. I guess Sweden is really where she's, where she goes. I don't know if she goes around the world or not. Mm -hmm. But um, <clears throat> and it happened. She had a lot of crazy stuff that happened to her when she was young mm -hmm. and she had to run away from her crazy dad because he was weird and sick so I don't really want to go down that one but it has takes you through a whole type of little mind spin right there and it really doesn't kind of break or give you any real background on how she became that way because she leaves and she's going to make what 10 is that when if she that, runs away yeah, if that. so I don't know how she became a, uh, I guess a you know a hacker super spy mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't really go with that. Is she a super spy, though? Is she, though? <laughs> She's kind of, I guess. I mean, she can ride a motorcycle on a lake. I guess. You know, she has cameras. She can hack into anything. <laughs> She's a new age spy. She's not like the spy that you see on like Mission Impossible that no. knows actually how to fight and has to break into stuff. She just sits at her computer and plays her lizards <laughs> in the cage and hacks in all your stuff and takes all your money. <laughs> she that type of hacker. Right. And she might, you know, just ride up to your house and, and tase you about 40 times in the, in the nuts. Because that's what she just did to a lot of dudes in the whole movie. The first guy was crazy. <laughs> when um, she, she she got him, 
had him tied up, and then tased him right in the thing. He started peeing on himself. Yeah, like, damn. I was like, this <laughs> shit. Be on when I saw that part, I thought <laughs> I was like, oh man, she's about to get be like taking people out. Uh-huh. But yeah, well, the rest of the movie happens, and that doesn't happen. So, but I guess to just give you a little cliff note version of the movie, um, something is uh, I guess some crazy um, technology is created that can basically hack all satellites and kill everybody on Earth with nuclear weapons. Somebody created this and said that, hey, now anybody can hack our satellites and control the, basically the economy in the world mm-hmm. by being able to launch nuclear weapons because they all use the same security. So he decided that he made a mistake and did not actually want to uh, design that and give that to the U.S. Mm-hmm. So he hired her to go steal it from them, which she did in her bedroom in her drawers. And <laughs> Rashad told you that whole situation with the brother of the black dude, you know, trying to turn off the power. That's when she was stealing it in her drawers at, in Sweden. Right. She stole that program, and then he had to go fly and try to find her because that program is for America. And, you know, I don't really think America needs to have control of everybody's weapons. Right. Particularly not now. No, especially not now. <laughs> or it might not be a tomorrow for any of us. Right. <laughs> so he goes and gets, tries to get it. And the only way that you can open it is throw some crazy code that the person that created it made. So mm-hmm. the whole thing is she steals it, but then somebody jumps her and takes it from her. Mm-hmm. And they're just running around, you know, trying to get it back from each other. And then you figure out, oh, the kid know, knows the password. So now it's a kidnapping thing. They need the kid. Mm-hmm. And she's just chasing them. So that's how the movie starts off. And that's basically what you get. You're going to think you're going to get a lot of cool fighting thing. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're going to get some bad situations, some some dumb decisions. And a lot of some, decisions. some amateurism, very amateur, very amateurism when when uh, it comes to being a spy. Mm-hmm. Just watch some spy movies. You know, if you bringing, I guess you're kidnapping somebody or saving somebody, you take their cell phone. Right. Because you know, everybody knows you can get a cell phone track. Right. Right. Even, a hacker would know that. Right. She doesn't do that. So she takes a little boy. You feel like she's going to you know, get him to safety. Mm-hmm. Takes him to some rural area. Nobody's going to find him. Right. And he has a cell phone. And he answers it because it says dad on it when they call. Right. Even though he just saw his dad 15 minutes get shot in the head. So he knew his dad didn't get actually to call him. Right. So he picks it up and they find the kid. They take the kid. And then we get to that point where Rashad talks about she basically does nothing. And the black dude and the guy in the truck shoot everybody in the building. I mean, how was, this, away. How was this woman's empowerment? <laughs> I don't if know. they're doing all the she work. She got kidnapped. <laughs> And the men just sit in the back of the truck and just lay people out. She getting tortured and stuff in there. And then even the little boy got in some action. Exactly. Like, he was taking out people. She really didn't do anything. She did nothing. She did get the black dude out of jail. Yeah. Without getting him I mean, out she of put jail, together a team. She put together the team. You know. To shut the people down. Right. But other than that, she really didn't do anything else. She's really good with a taser, though. Like, she beat up like 10 dudes with the same taser. Like, just doing the same thing over. Mm-hmm. Just like, hit them. Tase, hit him. Tase, like I was, I was, no I class. was in the theater, literally saying, "Hit the day tase out of hand, dudes!" Like y'all ain't coming in there with gas masks. Just hit the tase out of hand and take her out. I was like, "This is getting ridiculous." Because she was like, "Uh, uh, uh." I'm like, "Okay, a couple times, but this is, this is too long." So they have a lot of scenes like that. It's like, all right, y'all can. What else is going to happen here? She going to do some flips or something? Right. I feel kind of bad because I was like, I guess anytime I see like a female agent, I, she has to be like, Black they, Widow. Yeah, yeah Black exactly. Widow. It's like, they don't put the bar so high. Like, she <laughs> has to be able to fight, do crazy stuff to take out the dudes, exactly. right? She don't do that. Taze. Like, she can use a taser <laughs> and she can take all your money out your account and hack every phone and camera on you and blackmail you to death <laughs> to not say nothing. That's pretty hardcore. She don't have to lay a hand on you to really make you cry. Right. But we're just not used to that. You know, like, when you see somebody hacking on something, we don't think that's really going to hurt anybody. Right. Because it's just like, it's a computer thing, but it, it ruins people. I mean, we've seen that, but that's not the main character, generally. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's yeah, he's like the yeah, right. like sidekick yeah. that's doing that. The person that's actually there can, you know, take out people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She, she is that person. She cannot take out people. <laughs> but, you know, all in all... I would say I wouldn't necessarily go to the theater to watch it. It may be something good to watch on like HBO or something. Um, it has a lot of good character development for some character for some of the side characters, mm-hmm. uh, the police officers and uh, 
they kind of have, I don't want to tell you everything. We have, have told you everything, so I guess it's okay. Um, <laughs> they have, a, 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 I guess, some side plots, some twists that happen um, to kind of throw you off with some of the characters turning good or bad. So that's one good, that's one cool thing you could do to check out the movie. But other than that, you know, it really wasn't that interesting, you know. So I say save your money, wait till it comes out on video or on the streaming services and check it out then. About you. I would say, man, as you guys probably heard me say on my uh, on my video that I did by myself, hard pass, man. It's hard pass. I'm going to watch it again just so I can see. You went stuff. to sleep. <laughs> but the stuff, I mean, but it should have kept me awake. You know what I mean? Like, you were just tired. I it was, wasn't that, I was tired. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. Everything that I saw, everything that I saw was boring. So I saw a full <laughs> two thirds of the movie, and all of that was boring. It, to me, this movie is just like Mission Impossible. If if Tom Cruise was a woman that looked like Tom Cruise, <laughs> but didn't talk very much and couldn't fight, <laughs> and couldn't hack it. Well, she got he, Tom Cruise ain't hacking nothing. That's true. Yeah, so, give her some hacking abilities. The one so, cool part though was how she played the black dude though. When um when he thought he was he got oh, her was, right, he, yeah, it, it, you know, and then and when he said um when he sent him the message like, do you want to you know bone? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, like, come on, come on. on. Yeah, no, yeah. he said uh, soon, soon, not now, but soon. <laughs> and then he, he ends up going to the wrong place, and it's like I told you soon. <laughs> yeah, she got you. That was good. She that was good. Him. She was killing people with that uh, with the camera phones and the cameras on mm -hmm. the computer. That's kind of scary. You know, tape, some tape on mine. <laughs> Hacking and stuff, start looking at you. So on to the next topic. So we're doing what? Bad boys now? Let's do bad boys. Let's okay. Do bad boys. So what, what you going to do? Four minutes on this. What you going to do when you come for All right. So you got it there, Charlie. I love bad boys. And Danny that, loves bad boys, too. Yeah, Danny, we know that. And yeah, he's going to give I, you a shout out I, there. I, we've been, we grew up watching bad boys. Like, I thought for sure it would have been the bad boys three ten years ago. <laughs> But uh, that was like one of my favorite sh uh, movies growing up. So I really loved Bad Boys Two was my favorite. But you know, Will and Martin, they both have you know, they're one of the top black actors and comedians. Mm -hmm. You know, in my generation at least. Um, so I'm they're, definitely. They're actually two. It's just two of them. Huh? It's two. What did I say? You said they're one of. Oh. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> We're live here. What's going on with your voice, by the way? I'm. I, you've been yelling. You've been yelling a lot yesterday. It's cold. The temperature's changing. I'm kid. I got four kids. Uh, People coughing all over my food. <laughs> Can't get a tell the kid cough in your arm. Right. They don't ever cough in their arm. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right in your face, like right. bruh. Kids stay over there. So of course I'm gonna get sick. Gotcha. Okay. I'm fighting it. It's coming. I'm getting healthy every day. Thank you, Jesus. But um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely excited. I saw uh, Will and uh, Martin. They finally said something. They had a little Instagram video saying that is they're finally going to get number three done. It's so I'm hoping that means that it's actually going to happen because it has not them publicly saying, but they have said that they were going to do it mm -hmm. in the past. So it's like okay, I think it's for real now. Okay, I think it's for real. So I don't know who's going to be in it. They already, they haven't, I know they got a uh, director. Oh, it's not going to be Michael Bay. I don't know if it's Michael Bay okay. or not, but I know they got a director. Is going to do it, and they them the, those two said that it's getting done. So, I guess us as fans just have to wait and be excited and know that it's going to probably be an awesome movie. So, so let's talk about who should direct it. So, all the movies that we've seen this year. So, the dude that did Mission Impossible, whatever his name is, that yeah, he he would be nice. Mm -hmm. now, the, the Mission Impossible the five. Which one was this? Six. Six. Yes, six. six. Yeah, he would be nice. Mm -hmm. But I kind of need a black director though. What about uh, the guy that did the first song, Equalizer? Uh, was that Antoine Fuqua? I'm not sure. I think that was, I think I think he did both of the Equalizer. He did both of them. Uh -huh. Well, he need to not let whoever helped him edit on the second one. <laughs> Don't I fire that dude. Don't let him edit Bad Boys Three. But I do like him as a director in the first Equalizer. He did. That yeah, was he awesome. did both of them. He did both of them. Oh, he did Training Day. Oh, okay. So he that's two that's two out of three. So and that's two of the you no know, black movies. Oh, that, I don't with Denzel. Seven. Denzel, he's Denzel's. Yeah, Olympus has fallen. I like Olympus okay. has fallen. Shooter. Yeah. That's a. I think Charles. I think Danny likes Shooter. Replacement Killers. Okay. Yeah. That yeah. was the name. Daniel. A Antoine. Antoine. Fuqua. Fuqua. Mm -hmm. All right. Antoine Fuqua. He get our vote. Yeah. Go ahead and jump on that. Oh, but you or you can get your boy to do it. Um, I'm gonna say Black Panther. Yeah. 
What's his name? He got too much other stuff to do. Hey, this guy does make Black Panther. I don't know. It's he's more, coming out this year. But he's more of a serious type of director. He don't really direct films that are have comedy in them. Okay. Like, you know, he had Creed. He ain't got no comedy in that. Mm-hmm. And what he did, uh, what's the other thing that he had uh, Michael B. in when it was Pill Up? The, um, the train station. Fruitvale station. Yeah, that, right. that one had no comedy in it. Okay. And Black Panther didn't have very much comedy no, in it either. Right. So, okay. I don't know if he could do that great with uh, Will and, Ma- and Martin ad living the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> you cut out all that stuff, right? Uh, I mean, it's, what's his name? Uh, John Singleton. He don't, he don't even do movies no more, does he? You know, about how you're learning? You seen that? I haven't seen Higher Learning. Oh, okay. I don't know what else he's done. Um, he did, uh, what was it, Boys in the Hood? Was that John Singleton? Well, dang, he's taking it back now, yeah. It's been a while. The, he, yeah, he probably is not doing, he might still be doing it. I don't know. We have to see what's something new that he, he's directed. Yeah, I don't, wanna, but, I don't want your boy Spike Lee to do it. No. We have some weird black faces showing up smiling <laughs> for like 10 minutes. Did Spike Lee, didn't he do? Um, black Klansman. Black Klansman, yeah. right? Black Klansman was pretty nice. Yeah, before it was, was good for what it was. I don't want Black Klansman. Bad boys shouldn't be Black no, Klansman. It, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Because I don't think he's never really done any type of action type of, of movies like that. No, I don't think so. So his is more of that higher thinking. Kind yeah, of exactly. Social issues type of stuff. We'll come out like, smarter, but it's an art type of thing. Exactly. You know, we, we don't really we don't really want that much art with bad boys. Is he funny? Uh, uh, very, very look really cool. Be sexy because it's got to be in Miami, mm-hmm. and it's better have a lot of action. So that's basically what we want as fans of. Oh, who did um, oh, <clears throat> the most recent um, the Fast and Furious? Yeah, what's the name? I don't of know it? his name. Hate, but the hate of the what is it called? The hate of the Furious. Fast Furious Eight. It's like ten of them dang movies. Who, uh, if you're watching, let us know. Go ahead and type in who was the person that directed Fast and Furious Part 8. Go ahead, now. <laughs> Nobody, come on. It's up for grabs. Gary Gary. F. Gary Gary. There you go. That's his name? That's his name. F. F. Gary Gary. Gary. <laughs> so, F. Gary Gary, if you're watching... You got it, man. Go ahead. Just say your first name, man. That don't even sound good. That's <laughs> Gary Gary. <laughs> Sorry. He did straight out. Of, oh, he did straight out of Compton. That was good. And okay. he did set it off. Oh, oh, he did Friday. There you go. There you go. That's, That's one of the funniest movie. movies of all time. Yes. F. Then, Gary Gary. F. Gary is, Gary. You, we, 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 color commentary has selected you. We choose you. We choose you. <laughs> Call up Will. And Martin get that done. Exactly. Only thing I'm gonna say about it is I'm I'm excited for Martin uh, Lawrence to possibly have a career again because that mug ain't done nothing in like ten years. Poor I baby. heard they got um they supposed to be bringing Martin back out. Yeah. So I guess everything's good when he's bringing. Is he gonna come to do his, his, do the same stuff he did yeah. before? Just draw he, over he can't again. grow. <laughs> no, he, he just do the same shows. Show his best movie. And then go right into his sitcom. Exactly. So he'll, he'll probably have about two years of a career. It, it, it worked with uh, Tim Allen. Tim Allen's back. The tool man. You know, there you go. He's doing his thing on Fox now. I don't watch the show. But I heard it's good. But once was old, it's new again. Yep. <laughs> recycling right back. So. so speaking of recycling, which has nothing to do with our next topic. Um, <laughs> so we got a lot of movies coming up. We uh, do. So what else is coming up, Charlie? Um, we got Aquaman. Aquaman. I'm excited about of that. Of course. We got uh, Transformers. Mm-hmm. I'm excited about that, story. actually. Um, we got the... Uh, what's that Harry Potter show? The Harry it's Potter? A, not Harry Potter. It's a... Uh, Crimes of Grimoire. No, this is what the basic name of it. Not the actual title. Because it's, it's a sequel. Oh, what's the name of the first one? Yeah, the first one. Oh, um... Caged Animals and How Not to Kill Them. No. no. What are you talking about? Is that what it's called? No, it's not. It's called Fantastic Beasts. Yes, thank you. <laughs> you, know, you just go on some crazy stuff. Fantastic Beasts 2. I don't even want to go down what the name of it is, but that's coming out. I think it comes out next next weekend, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, we got Widows coming out. <laughs> yeah, Widows. You might not know about that one. Rashad wants to see it just because um, dude from Get Out shoots somebody in the head. Daniel Kalea, yeah. Yeah. In the face. <laughs> After he does a freestyle. Right, exactly. And that made him want to go see the movie. I'm demented. This dude. Yes, he is. I'm crazy. <laughs> Wait, they get a load of me. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, I can't, I'm, I'm excited. I hope, listen, guys, I want to tell you, I hope they don't, like, 
hurt my feelings with that because if any of like any time they show like who's gonna be in the movie, I don't really even see Daniel Kaluuya's name on there. So I didn't even realize he was gonna be a major part of the movie until they showed that one trailer where dude is like rapping. He's like, mm. they're doing what mm. <clears throat> they're doing what they should have did with Ken. You know, yep. actually show the do the people want to see exactly all the time in the trailer. Like, oh, he's actually in the movie. See him for right. ten seconds. But, uh, exactly. Then and, and then you go up and we've seen everything, but at least they got us to see the movie. <laughs> yes. We also got um, Creed two, which I can't wait to see. I can't wait. To I know see. that's Charlie's movie. That's, I can't wait that. to see. I just saw the preview. I was watching this. This just looks so good. Can't wait. Did music. To hear the passion. Da, da, da. See dude getting lit oh, up. Music. Yeah, it's different. Okay, my bad. It's black music now. Right. <laughs> we, we bring the real music here. That stuff, son. Creed two. I can't wait to see that one. Um, I'm excited about Robin Hood because my boy from uh, <coughs> my boy, which I thought he should be. I saw that. I saw, <laughs> I saw what? You I saw that. the thumbs you down. You didn't see nothing. I saw, Jamie Foxx is up in it. Does that make it good? Jamie is good. We saw Spider Man too. Jamie like Foxx. They made. They made. We saw the Amazing Spider-Man. They made him act that way. The writing was horrible. He could have did any role. Jamie Foxx is almost like the most talented person in Hollywood. He can do anything. He's a very good piano player and he singer. Can comic, sing. And funny. He can. He can be intense. He did he a good job being Ray time. Charles. Yes, he can do anything. He can tap into anything. He's a, he's super talented. But yeah, he's a jack of many <clears> trades. I actually saw the. The uh, other Robin, you see the old Robin Hood, Kevin uh, Costner, Kevin Costner. Yes, one? I, watched I it saw on that Netflix. one on Netflix. Yeah, awesome. on uh, was, was on Friday. Uh-huh. That one was good. That was good. Had Morgan Freeman looking young in there. I was like, Morgan look young. <laughs> Gracious, when this come out? Morgan, Morgan, Morgan always look old. It was like I settle my debts <laughs> when I want to. <laughs> I remember Robin was getting beat up. Oh no, he was in a fight. He wasn't getting yeah. beat up. And Morgan Freeman was like standing there, like eating the apple or something. Uh-huh. Like that. It's like yeah. I thought you owed me a life debt. He's like, I, I sit on my debts when I feel like it. <laughs> Definitely, a brother. A brother said that he wrote that part. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That I movie. Was, that was, used to be one. That used to be like my favorite movie. <clears throat> like it's, it's a really really good movie. I like that one. So I just I, I don't know. I, it hasn't been anything about this movie that's really captured me. Have you seen the trailers? I've seen all the trailers. You see what they be doing with them bows, bro? They be hawkeye everybody. <laughs> just like flipping up, throwing them, fighting with throwing them bows. Throwing them bows, yeah, man. <laughs> it's like, I was like, oh. <laughs> but he hasn't seen, um, man, can you get the main title out? What's the title? It's like, always get you on. I already mm-hmm. said, uh, Kill the Animals. And- no, the movie, um, he's on. Wreck It Ralph? No, him. Oh, Kingsman. Yes, he hasn't seen any of the Kingsman. I have seen it. He hasn't seen one or two. Like, that's like so epic, especially. You just got to see the church fight. You see the church fight of Kingsman, you be like, you're talking about shoot people in the face? That's what you need to see that. Like, that's that will just turn that. everything around. When he sees what happens in that church scene, it's unholy. Turn everything around? I'm not turning around. I didn't say I didn't want to see Kingsman. Oh, you're talking about me wanting to see Robin yes, Hood. Yes, okay. because you'll see him. You know, you'll see him. You will fall. You will love this movie because... Yeah, people get messed up. Okay. Seriously, you see everything. It's not, it's rated R for a reason, brother. Rated R for a reason. But yeah. And yeah, we, like I said, I got Robert Ralph. Mm-hmm. That's definitely, that was one of my favorite, uh, I guess, animated films that came out. Definitely went love. Love to see number two. I want to see what kind they do with that, though. I guess he breaks the internet. Mm-hmm. That's going to be kind of funny, because he came from the uh, old school right. machines. So... Boy. I guess we'll see. It's Mary, and Mary Poppins is coming up. Right? I don't care about Mary Poppins. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all! <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about Mary Poppins. It, but it, is, it is coming out this, this year, right? <laughs> yeah, Mary Mary comes out. Mary Mary. <laughs> Mary Poppins comes out. Um, I think it comes out Thanksgiving as well. Okay. No, it comes out right before Aquaman. Okay. <laughs> of course, Disney throws it before Aquaman. Of course. So, of course, of course. Of course it did. They got the Deadpool... BG thirteen, a Deadpool story. I think that the, they. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So they made it like it's like a, he's telling a story. Um, what is it? the director of that movie? Hey, Charles Fuqua. <laughs> no, he was in another. He was in um a child movie, and they're basically using his same like his dad was. Oh, the Prince, um, Prince's Bride, I think. Okay. 
So you know, oh, Fred his, Savage. Yeah. Oh, they were doing, okay, they were doing okay. like he was in his grandpa was telling the story. <laughs> uh-huh. So it's supposed to be like Deadpool telling him the story. Wow. And, me. Yeah, he's it is the same actor. He's in the bed watching it. I mean, basically <laughs> get told by Deadpool. So I want to see what they do with that because <laughs> Deadpool was creative as hell. So I just, I kind of want to see what they do with that. I think that'd be funny. <laughs> You know, um, now that I think about it, it's actually genius for them to to transition Deadpool into the PG-13 movie. Like, I remember I I complained about it a little bit before. Mm -hmm. Like, what the heck is going on with Fox Studios? But it makes sense if Disney's taking them over because Disney's going to want Deadpool to be a PG-13 project. So if they can re-edit the movie and make it be PG-13, then that's a perfect transition to then move him into the Marvel Universe. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just, it makes sense. It's genius. And it's, it's unprecedented. It's never been done before. They were creative. Yeah. And the way, you know, how Deadpool works, you always, because he, he can, he breaks the wall all the time. So, mm-hmm. you can kind of tell it. You can throw him right in the mix. Mm-hmm. And people that are in our universe, like Iron Man, they'll just think he's crazy. Right. So, it's like, if we, if you see somebody just talking to them talking to nobody, and you walked up beside them, mm-hmm. you wouldn't think they're talking to another, no, some people watching you. Mm-hmm. You would just think they're just kind of crazy. So that's kind of how they would deal with it, I guess. I guess. <laughs> Anything else, sir? Nothing I really think about. That come at the bricks at the end of the year. So let us know what movies that you're excited about for the end of this year. Um, are you excited about Wreck-It Ralph? Are you excited about uh, who you have? Creed Thinking Two? Creed Two? What is that one over ne- next to Creed on the left side? Fantastic Beasts. You excited about How to Kill Animals? <laughs> are you excited about uh, Aquaman? Robin are you excited Ralph. about uh, yeah Robin Hood? What's that record? That's the first one I said. That's the first one you said. Sorry. Are you Sorry. excited about real movies like Transformers, Bumblebee? I'm not. Be honest with you, I'm gonna go let you know. I'm not excited about Bumblebee whatsoever. Because you didn't grow up. I'm so tired of Transformers. You didn't grow up watching the Transformers the way they're supposed to look. I'm tired of Transformers. They can go ahead and just phase them out for a couple years and bring them back. We can't phase it out because the Earth is a Transformer. <sighs> but till we find out. Unicron, the Earth, or Unicron is yeah, the Earth is Unicron. Unicron. Yeah, until we find out thing. who was high when they wrote that, <laughs> then we can't. We had to keep this thing going. Yeah, but Michael Bay's not doing it, so it might be decent. Man, I, is it going to be a reboot of all of them, or is it just added to that same? I think it's one of those things where it's both. You know what is I mean? It's a new new dimension or something. I don't know, man. Because I thought Bumblebee didn't even make it to Earth before. On the first one, like he like the first time they got there was. First time any of them were on Earth. Well, you know, when he got to the fourth movie, the fifth one, was that the fifth? Yeah, the fifth one, yeah, he was in World War Two. so. And they ain't never going to pay nobody for his voice. <laughs> he ain't never going to have to be able to talk. They ain't never going to pay an actor to play his voice on any age. No, he's always going to have a boy, voice box issue. Uh, I'm like, you would think, if you could fly through space, I know this is going off, but you can fly through space safely. Mm-hmm. Turn into any type of machine you want to. Right. You would think they could fix your voice. Right. You could, I mean, he could transform his entire body, hey, but he can't fix the, transform that. He just don't want to talk. <laughs> he just don't want to talk. So basically, maybe he got a little girly voice or something. Well, you saw no, you saw like at the end of the first Transformers, like he got his voice back, but he didn't sound right. It's like, yeah, I want to be with the boy. Oh, he did say something. On the yeah, exactly. It's just like, he didn't have the radio going at that time. No, that was his real voice, you know. And then at the second movie, it's like, undo that. <laughs> undo that. Just let him... Ah, ah, radio station. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's always the funniest part when he's talking as a radio. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, let us know uh, what is going to be your favorite movie. Just go ahead and type it in the comments, whether you're on YouTube or on Facebook. You know, uh, this doesn't come out at the end of the year. What's well, that? actually, it does come out at the end of the year, What's but that? it's just in China. Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Super. Okay. Well, it comes out in December for China. Okay. And then it comes to the U.S. in January. Okay. We're going to do a small little, well, we're going to do a party for that one for mm-hmm. my son. So, we're going to definitely be jumping on that Dragon Ball. <laughs> Naruto's yeah. better. No. So, <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. I don't care what he says. I not guess, Dragon, Ball, Dragon Ball. Oh, God, it's horrible. <laughs> what? Liar. It might not be horrible. I just don't like it. <laughs> 
So check us out here. Uh, of course, we're on Facebook Live right now. You can join our Facebook group if you're not already a part. Just look for Color Commentary on Facebook. You type in Color Commentary on Facebook. We're the ones that come up here. Show me your computer, y'all. Eventually, I'll get to it. Can you see him being hacked? Bring it over. Bring it over some more. So yeah, see, see anything? Yeah. There, there you go. go. Color commentary Color right commentary. there. We're on Facebook. We have a group. We got a page as well. We're on Tumblr as well. Look up uh, Colorcom3 on Twitter. On uh, Instagram as well. Uh, also, I said Tumblr, right? Everything. Everything. We're on Stardust. Color well, stuff, I don't even Stardust. know what it is. <laughs> don't come with me and tell you something new. No, some, a new social media group thing every day. I'm like, I don't know what this is. Right. I stopped trying to understand everything. It's just so much. We, we pay people. There you go. We so, pay people for that. So join the crew. Guys, uh, if you like the show, please make sure to give our video a like. Uh, if you're watching it on YouTube, look down below so you can see our description where you can see links to all of our other videos. And um, what do they need to do, Charlie? Subscribe to survive. Do better than that. Come on. Do better. Subscribe to survive. One more time. Subscribe to survive. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no voice. Kids been coughing on me all week. <laughs> Sick. Since we did mention Mary Poppins, I'm going to end the show this way. Uh, this again is color commentary where we give you views from a different side. Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim cherry. A sweep is as lucky as lucky can be. You can fade out anytime. Chim chimney, chim chim cherry. Good luck will. And it's gotta be. That's the only thing that's soothing my soul. Turn on the TV to.